Hello and welcome to part 2 of my PlayStation collection. Let's continue on and the next game we have is Hogs of War, uh, best of infograms edition I guess. Um, if you're a fan of uh, the Worms games, uh, this is very similar to um, Worms 3D. I just think it's better than Worms 3D to be honest because I didn't really rate the 3D Worms games until I was further 2D ones. But um, yeah, the interesting thing about this is actually uh, the characters are voiced by uh, Rick Mail, who's in stuff like Young Ones and Bottom. Very, uh, very funny man. Also, Drop Dead Fred. Love that movie. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, loaded. And reloaded. Now, this was a another one of the launch titles I bought. With my, I got with my uh, original PlayStation, and uh, yeah, it's very, very, very fun. Like a uh, co-op game, uh, you can play up, you can play with, with uh, up to two players, and uh, yeah, very gory, <laughs> lots of uh, sh shooting and carnage and stuff. And re reloaded, which is the uh, s sequel to um, to this, and uh, pretty much the same, but uh, yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. Once in a while. <laughs> okay. Next we have Grand Theft Auto 1, Grand Theft Auto 2. Now, I'm more of a fan of the 3D iterations on the PlayStation 2, but um, it's, it's nice to have like the whole set, I guess. I don't have GTA London, which is a shame because I, I enjoyed that a lot more. Uh, than these ones, I love the sort of style of it. Much like I'm sort of my favourite sort of PS2 iteration of GTA was there by C again because of the style of the uh, the game. But uh, yeah, these are still fun to sort of pick up and play now and again. All right. Next we have Dino Crisis Two. I actually don't have the first one unfortunately, but um, that again that is something. I uh, will try to get online at some point, but uh, yeah, I, but I have like seen an action. And it's, um, the first one's very, very sort of Resident Evil style, whereas this one's more. I guess it's sort of more arcade style, where you sort of try and like rack up as many points as possible. It's it's, it's still like the same basic gameplay as the first Iron Crisis, but uh, yeah, I I kind of enjoy that little little extra that they added for this one. Jude Nukem, A Time to Kill. Very similar to, say, like the old school Max Payne games, like third person uh, action adventure slash shooter, I guess. And um, yeah, very, very fun game. Not as good as Jude Nukem 3D. But again, what is? <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, very fun. Grand Turismo 2. Um, I don't have the first one simply because like they're both pretty much similar. Only like this one for you got, has like more cars, and uh, yeah. So the uh, at the time it was um, very sort of immersive, like um, driving simulator. It has aged a little bit, as you can sort of tell, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's still still fun for what it is. Driver 1 and Driver 2. Now, I'll be honest, the first driver I wasn't very good at. I couldn't, <laughs> I, I remember as a kid, I couldn't even get past the um, the <laughs> training stage because it was just, to me anyway, it was just so difficult. And um, yeah, but I, I'll, I will come back to this at some point and do another shot. I mean, I, I absolutely love um, uh, Driver San Francisco. Um, on the free on the three sixty on the three sixty and um, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting. They they brought that back for like a sort of secret stage, which is kind of interesting. But um, Driver Two, on the other hand, I absolutely love this game. This is absolutely this is definitely one of my favourites on the uh, PlayStation. And I didn't quite be. I got to the final stage where you have to chase the um, 
the helicopter, but I can never, I never did manage to beat it when I was a kid. So um, again, yeah, it's something I'll definitely try and go back to see if I can beat it. Okay, so we have two ready one, two ready two, and two ready three. Now, initially, the only game I had at the time was two ready two, but I have uh, recently purchased two ready one and two ready three, like and like in town, like for quite cheap. Unfortunately, this one's got. A little bit of a sort of scratch there, some sort of self tapes. Um, yeah, I played a little like all three. I, I still prefer this one because like you can save at any point. Whereas with this one, you need to find a crystal to save. No, no, you have to save at like these crystals, which are placed in sort of random areas. And this one, you have to like pick up crystals to save. But um, yeah, they're, they're all they're all pretty good for um, for what they are. Uh, the, un the Uncharted or the Fierce One era. <laughs> very, very cool. Okay. Final Fantasy VI. Um, this one I got fairly recently as well. And um, I actually got this at Cash Converters, which is. Um, and it sort of took me by surprise. I didn't even know Final Fantasy VI was released on the uh, PS1 because I know it was originally a Super Nintendo game. And uh, another <laughs> interesting thing about this is that. It comes with a Final Fantasy X demo, which I find very odd as you need to have like both a PS1 and a PS2 at the time to be able to um, to play the, to even play this demo. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little a little bonus, you know. Final Fantasy VII, an absolute classic, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, it's not my favourite Final Fantasy, but, um, but as I said, it is still very good. Um, I haven't actually finished it, but I, I know I'm sort of on the start of this too, and it's still, it's still, it's still great, but as I said, the, um, my sort of favourite Final Fantasy is coming up right now. And it is Final Fantasy IX. I absolutely love this game so much. I I, I, I feel because like, it's so underrated compared to Seven, which is a little bit overrated. Let's let's face it. Um, that I, I kind of sort of fell in love with it because of that, and like because there was like so little hype compared to like Seven and Eight, that I could sort of um, go into this like cold without any sort of high expectations. And uh, yeah, yeah, really enjoyed it. I got like another copy as well, which is because um, this the, uh, the one I just showed you has like plat platinum discs in the original case, whereas this one has uh, original case, original discs, and actually in pretty good condition. I'll just show you in a moment. This is this one, as you can see. In uh, pretty damn good, and all, and all that little dot that's from the camera, but uh, yeah, no, no scratches whatsoever. Very happy with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll still keep my other version just because, um, so I can play it, but like keep this other one as like a collector's item, anyway. And finally, the game that. I feel defined a generation, and uh, I'm pretty sure you know what it is. It is. Are you ready? Demo <laughs> demo one. No, <laughs> no, it's not this. Although for some reason it did come with um, uh, fun. It's got a FIFA '98 in here for some reason. I don't know why. I guess because like my original case of FIFA '98 uh, uh, got smashed up, and I just put it in there. But no, <laughs> the game I'm talking about is of course Metal Gear Solid. Fucking love this game. I'll just show you a little bit of the uh, insights right here. Which it, it's funny because it does come with a Silent Hill demo, and uh, I thought that's a nice little extra. I don't have Silent, Silent Hill unfortunately, but um, again, it's one I'm attending to pick up at some point. 
and uh, oh. and it does come on two discs. So this one, this two. I could have sworn this came with a poster as well, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to have it from what I can. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it if it did, but um, I certain I, I was certain of it, but um, no, it doesn't, doesn't seem to have it unfortunately. If you do know if it did come come with a poster initially, like the original copy, then uh, please let me know in the uh, comments. And just to uh, finish off here. Got my uh, original PS1 memory card, which um, it's kind of funny how um, something so small now, like, would um, be so um, invaluable. <laughs> Unlike now, where, where it's like you have like two, uh, like 320 gig, like built-in hard drives, like for your, for your console, like as standard. But um, yeah, I salute you, little. PS1 memory card. Anyway, that is it for my uh, PlayStation collection. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.